Hello, my name is Werner Koch. In 1997, I started GNUPG so that people would have a free tool to protect their communication. GPG has been far more successful than I imagined. Today, activists rely on GNUPG to coordinate their activities. For us, GPG encryption was invaluable because it helped, it was one part of a very crucial um, set of strategies to help secure our communications and secure identities as we try to do what we do best, which is fight for democracy. Lawyers depend on GPG to safely speak with their colleagues and clients. And GPG is the way that I most often communicate uh, with people who are in need around the world. Journalists use GPG to securely discuss stories with their colleagues and their sources. I do strongly believe that had we not been using GNUPG all of, all of this time, many of our sources and many of our journalists would be in danger or in jail. GPG has even become a critical part of the Internet's infrastructure. I would say that the majority of people who rely on GNUPG have no idea that it's there. In 2014, GNUPG's future looked bleak. I even had to let go my last employee and could only work on GPG part-time. But a last-ditch donation campaign raised 250,000 euro from individual donors. Also, Facebook, Stripe and the Linux Foundation committed to regular donations. Thanks to your donations, Werner was not only able to work on GNUPG full-time, but he could hire five additional software developers. Hello! Hello, my Japan! With this team, we have been able to not just maintain GNUPG and provide regular updates, but actually implement some new features. One of our main focuses has been to make GNUPG easier to use to help fight mass surveillance. For this, I developed a new key discovery service, which is called the WebKey Directory, and it makes finding someone's encryption key easier and more reliable. I've implemented a new trust model called Tofu. Although it doesn't provide as strong authentication as the web of trust, its improved usability means that Tofu is more likely to catch man-in-the-middle attacks and phishing attempts for most users. I have implemented a new test engine for GNUPG, written many new tests, and adopted and improved a set of Python bindings for interacting with GNUPG. And we're moving beyond GPG's core. My main job has been helping improve Enigma, the OpenPGP plugin for Thunderbird. I've set up a community platform that makes it easy to report problems and discuss new ideas. I've spent a lot of time improving GNU PG's smart card infrastructure. And I'm also developing a new security token called GNUK. Its schematics are free so that anyone can build one. We want to continue this work in the long term. But we want to do it in such a way that our first loyalty is unambiguously to the general public. This means that the majority of our funding needs to come from individual donors and not corporations. This is why we are appealing to you today. We need you to make sure that GNUPG, which has proven to be important to so many people, is able to not only fix security problems quickly, but also continues to improve. A great way to ensure our long-term stability is to make reoccurring donations. Our goal is to raise 15,000 euros per month. To do that, we hope to convince 2,000 of you to commit to donating just five or 10 euros per month, the cost of two or three cups of coffee. This money allows us to fund three full-time developers, including supplies and travel. With that money, we will firstly continue to support GNUPG and its users. And we'll write a book called an advanced introduction to GNU PG, which will explain how to securely use GNU PG to digital security trainers, programmers using GNU PG, and of course, enthusiasts. If we can double that, if 4,000 of you donate just five to 10 euro per month, then we will increase the size of our team and dedicate them to help other projects in the GNU PG community. One project that we really want to contribute to is GPG Tools. We want to make sure that the Apple Mailer is supported as soon as the new version of macOS is released. Now maybe you don't use GPG to encrypt your email. Nevertheless, some journalists whose work you value rely on GPG to protect their sources. And some activists fighting for a cause that you sympathize with rely on GPG to protect their communication. And some lawyers speaking with their clients 
rely on GPG to protect attorney-client conversations. And you probably interact with many Linux-based systems every day. At least two-thirds of the internet are around Linux-based systems, and these rely on GPG for security. So please, if you recognize the importance of GNUPG, even if you don't use it directly, consider donating to support our work and the work of so many others. If you care about investigative journalism, support GNUPG. It's, it's that simple. To me, I think it was really amazing to be asked to, to be part of this process and, you know, just hope people fund GPG encryption and they fund it often. <laughs> <laughs>